Tips to do keto over 40. When you are over 40, that waistline will start thickening. You may also notice that losing weight becomes harder. This is why people in their 40s can find the keto diet appealing. Other diets didn't help them lose weight. Perhaps the keto diet will? As with most diets, there are pros and cons that need to be considered before committing fully. How do you start making the switch when you are over 40? The easiest way is to gradually reduce your carbohydrate intake over a few days. I understand that you don't want to waste food, but don't fall into the trap of eating up all the biscuits, cakes, potatoes and bread in the house. This will make starting harder and lead to gaining more weight. Once you've reduced your carb intake, it's time to start making some more changes to your diet. Start by replacing processed carbs with healthy, unprocessed alternatives. For example, swap white rice for quinoa or cauliflower rice, pasta for courgette or zucchini noodles, and sugary snacks for fruit. You eat a large amount of fat on a keto diet, but not all fats are created equal. You need to increase the healthy fats you eat. These healthy fats include avocado, olives and olive oil, nuts and seeds. Cut out margarine and vegetable oil and try to keep animal fat to a minimum. Eat a variety of proteins such as meat, fish, eggs and dairy. If you like it, the best fish to eat is oily fish such as mackerel, salmon, sardines and anchovies. You need protein to repair your body. Cardiovascular exercises are more effective for weight loss and keep you in ketosis than strength workouts. As with any diet, you need to drink plenty of water and avoid sugary drinks. Water keeps the body functioning properly. Think of it like a car engine that needs oil. If you don't put oil in your car, it won't work properly and will become sluggish. The same applies to water in the body. As we age, our immune systems get less efficient, so make sure you are getting enough vitamins and minerals. Ideally, you need to be eating low carbohydrate fruit and vegetables but if you are concerned, taking a quality multivitamin can help ensure you'll get all the nutrients you need. The best vegetables to eat on a keto diet are those grown on top of the ground, such as leafy green vegetables. I hope this has given you some insight into what the keto diet involves and how to integrate it into your life. Remember, as you age, your health is the most important thing to consider. So listen to your body and adapt to the keto diet gradually. That wraps things up for today. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel.